something so beautiful about opening the blinds to a clear spring morning when the sun is coming up and starting to prepare breakfast for my family as well as get the kitchen set for the rest of the day. Morning time to me is so special. I definitely cherish the time that my husband and I have while our little girl is still sleeping and I know those days are going to pass um, in several months when we have our next little one. It'll definitely look different but I just praise the Lord for the time that I do have to just you know reflect on what I want to get done for the day, what I read in my Bible reading as I prepare a meal for my family. Life is full of daily activities that kind of just become habitual, like letting out a dog in the morning, unloading the dryer from a previous wash the night before. It just is something that us as homemakers do to care for our home and our family. And there is so much that um, just brings me joy in a daily task and a daily routine. Love opening the blinds every morning and seeing what the day has to bring whether it's cloudy whether it's sunny it's just such a joy to have light and um, especially in the spring days when we can open the windows but I like to have everything written down that I would like to accomplish on a particular day and this day actually is Good Friday so you're seeing this quite a bit later but I still wanted to share this homemaking day I had for you and some of the tasks I wrote down, they don't get done right away, but you know, it's kind of just things I want to do throughout the day. And I'm kind of trying to pre prepare myself for what's ahead with a newborn because I know I'm not going to be able to accomplish near as much when I'm nursing and having a toddler as well. And so I just want to make sure I... Um, write a few things down so that I know I can accomplish and succeed in some of my tasks for the day. And then simple things like playing the piano with my little girl and singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. She absolutely loves music. And, but something like spending time with her playing as well as cleaning, like, you know, you're doing double duty there, spending time with your child as well as getting some cleaning done. And then it is time to water my seedlings. If you haven't seen some of my garden update videos, I'll link those in the description box. But I have started seeds this year and I am trying hard to take care of them, even if it's just in my laundry room like you're seeing here. And I'm hoping when they get in the ground that my daughter will get to enjoy the whole process of the gardening experience. Yes, I'm sure some will get trampled, some will get pulled, um, but I want to train her how to care for other living things, which include plants. Another daily task I feel like I do is cooking and baking. Today I'm actually baking a carrot cake to bring for Easter. Um, this recipe turned out really well. It's a little lower sugar carrot cake and I really just thought it turned out quite delicious with a cream cheese frosting. So if I remember I'll link that in the description box for you. But as most of you know, I've been honing in on my homemaking skills in the kitchen for the past year or so. 
and I absolutely love spending time in the kitchen working on different recipes that I may find or that I kind of make up and it's just something that I like to improve upon because food is food is such a blessing and so wonderful especially um, in our first world country that we live in. While the cake is baking, we had to play with some Play-Doh and she absolutely loves, loves, loves Play-Doh and it's just fun, fun to spend that quality time with her. like to do as a homemaker is um, prepare food for the future so these pineapple were on sale at our local grocery store so I bought four pineapple and I decided to cut several up and actually freeze them because we make a lot of smoothies in our house and um, it's just something that works really well to throw into smoothies or if I want to make something else with pineapple in it I will have that already in the freezer prepared and I like to find things when they're on sale which I think definitely saves in the budget aspect and the finances so after that it was leftover time for lunch we just had some chili leftover and so that is what we were having for lunch nothing fancy not making a gourmet meal but it is something that we like to do use leftovers and give the Lord a blessing for that Okay, it was time to clean up one of my garden areas. This one was where my corn had been, and so I filled some of our bags, put it in our family vehicle, and hauled it out to our garden tree branch trash area, I guess you would call it. We don't have a pickup or a trailer, so I just make do with what I have, and that's something as a homemaker, you kind of have to be... Uh, flexible with how you do things if you want to get something done sometimes you might just have to put your branches in the back of your family style vehicle <laughs> and so you may look silly but if you're getting the task done and you feel good about it and you're accomplishing things so be it <laughs> and then when my husband got home that evening we dyed some eggs with our little one and she had so much fun doing that we did have a Good Friday service that we then attended. So after that, um, I had some cleaning up of the kitchen to do. But see, you can tell everything on my list. It was not too much to do. Um, it just kind of took throughout the day. And so I think just making a little list for your day, even if it's just four things that you can accomplish, really helps you feel successful as a homemaker and end your day well being able to cross those off the list and don't feel bad if they don't always get done because that is part of being flexible and also um, just being a caregiver of your home and your family so i hope you enjoyed coming along on this day of kind of a random things that i got to do and also accomplish and that you feel that you can do things as a homemaker, a mom, a wife, and are successful in whatever you can get done in a day. Oh, I can't forget to mention I am having a slice of some chocolate cake with some yogurt chocolate frosting. Actually, it's really quite good. It was an experiment for my daughter's birthday, and I think it was a success. So,